dangerous. So it's uh, sensitive talking is about uh, a lesbian couple. So I know it's it's a taboo in the society. It's not taken very normally, but I'm hoping uh, with this movie, with RGV sir's, um, I think his um, vision of the film, it will be normalized. And uh, I, when when he told me the script, I was. I did not even take a second to think about it. Even though I'm starting my career, I'm new to the industry, I know this film can um, be a little different for a, pe for a lot of people to accept it, a little difficult for them to accept it, but for me, I believed in it. I believe uh, LGBT, lesbians or gays or anybody, I think we are all creation of gods and he, uh, creation of God and uh, we are nobody to judge anybody and so I always believed, I always support LGBTQ. So when I got this script and when I heard this script, I was like, yes, this is what I want to do because I totally um, believe in it and I'm happy that I've got an opportunity to represent lesbians because I think they should be as proud as straight people and as happy as straight people and uh, uh, you know, happy about the sexuality and uh, I hope this film normalizes um, uh, lesbians and you know, uh, they, they feel they feel normal like us and they're, they're not questioned for loving girls and this film is all about celebrating love between two women and uh, it has a lot of uh, fun, uh, the movie is all about uh, a love story set against a crime action drama with some comedy and a lot of entertainment. The film is a commercial, uh, it's a commercial film. It's not focusing on how, you know, what kind of problems a lesbian couple, it has that, but we are here celebrating love between two women. We're trying to show it how a hero, like I, the feelings of it, um, of the audience should be uh, when they're happy, when they see a hero heroine romancing, or when they see the hero and heroines, you know, living happily ever after, or something like that. So, this movie is also about such kind of emotions, and I really hope people connect to that kind of emotion and the lesbian emotion. And it's definitely a very entertaining film, and uh, I'm proud I could be a part of such a great film and uh, you know this is the first time we can see a duet song happening between two girls which has never happened um, in Indian cinema history if I'm not wrong. Yes sir? Yeah. So thank you sir for um, giving me this opportunity and Nana and me we always had a very good bond since the beginning and uh, you can definitely see it um, on screen. Uh, so yeah it was really uh, I was very comfortable and she she got comfortable with time <laughs> and uh, thank you everyone for having us here. Thank you. Just, uh, to start with, uh, the idea of this film for me came, before this, most of the times when we made uh, uh, films on same-sex relationship, it was always like, you know, it's a little bit patronizing and there is something wrong with them, but you have to be understanding to kind of show a certain pity for the, something abnormal about it. So that was a general consensus in uh, people's belief most of the time. And it took a very long time after multiple debates, uh, multiple debates with major scores applied that uh, finally the Supreme Court repealed section 377, legalizing same-sex relationships. So I thought one great offshoot of that can be, we've seen hundreds and thousands of films where we see a love story between a man and a woman, and not necessarily a love story, a relationship between a man and woman, and some story happens around them, like a crime drama, like a, a thriller or some kind of, whatever it might be. So, Dangerous is not really about uh, why they became lesbians or why they got into a relationship. It is actually about a story happening where the lead couple just happen to be lesbians. The issue is not about why they are lesbians, which is, I think, a marked uh, departure from how the subject has been uh, previously approached. 
it's like uh, if you see there's a there's a man woman you accept you kind of uh, take it for granted that uh, the man woman is supposed to be in a relationship and some other story happens so them being in a relationship is immaterial to the rest of the story that's exactly how i treated uh, uh, dangerous you know so obviously when i wanted to start the film my main concern was to find two young girls who will, will agree or be uh, like to take a part take part because one is society has a certain disparity in spite of it being legalized and uh, many people understanding the question of what they will feel their families will feel their friend circle will feel there could be many many issues like that and uh, so very i mean when i first talked to apsara i was expecting her to say no definitely or even initially she got excited by thought she would call me the next day and said i thought about it i am not sure i i won't be able to do it but right from the time i spoke her enthusiasm has never fell down and that is really courageous on her part because for me after such a long time it's okay for me to take make experiments once in a while but uh, as an actress uh, starting off for the first time i think to take a step like this needs courage which she had and naina i took a little longer in fact me and apsara managed to convince naina at the end of the day but once naina agreed she did it with uh, as much conviction as anyone else which you can see there so in every lesbian relationship there is always a dominant person and a submissive person which is what uh, the difference in the characters of naina and apsara if you could observe that in both in the songs and the and the film as such and also i just wanted this unique uh, i mean uh, credit that i probably am the first person to shoot a romantic duet between two women which never happened ever in history but well, that's as far as the making is concerned so i of course i understand for this kind of film there could be a certain resistance in some sections who still uh, hold very really old traditional values and are highly judgmental in nature uh, that's okay but again uh, whenever a change comes it has to start at some time so hopefully with this film and how people feel about it i think you can start a new genre of films where you always see only hero and heroine and now you can make a love story with two women also instead of a man and a woman so i think uh, this is a start of a genre like that and uh, so i think it broke many traditions and rules in uh, cinema as such which uh, hopefully you will see and uh, like it and uh, finally i i want to say very heartfelt thanks to both apsara and naina because the film is an idea of mine but to actually practically feel the characters and to perform in front of the camera is not a joke and i appreciate them both uh, their belief in me and their guts and uh, their outlook towards life thank you both and thank you